Hi, this is Mike Sobis of Next Level Business Development. Certainly enjoyed Stephen Covey's uh, video on the big rocks and the small rocks and how that you must really start to work on your big rocks first, otherwise you'll never have time for, for, the, um, for completing them because the small rocks will dominate. I teach this in my time management workshop, but recently one of my clients raised a very interesting question, and it's a question on practical how to do. He said that he, was, that he had all the intentions of the, of the world to spend time, two or three hours each week, doing strategic planning. And he actually set aside time for it. But he found that invariably, during the middle of his strategic planning session, a customer would call, an important customer would call, and he would get derailed. He would stop and never go back to it again. So I really put together a five-step plan so that you can buy the time that you need to do strategizing and planning. The first step is to set customer expectations up front. As you bring on new customers, let them know up front that you're there for them. You're there for them 24-7 if it need be. But let them know that when they contact you, you might be occupied with another appointment. And again, be careful, say another appointment. And that will set your expectations that you might not constantly be immediately available to them. And the second is related to it, to the first. The second strategy is to work on your big rocks by setting appointment times for you to work on those big rocks. So schedule yourself two or three hours or whatever time you need to get that strategic planning done and consider it an appointment as important as an appointment with your biggest client. The third step or third strategy I should say is to handle interruptions of those big rock meetings in the same way as you would handle interruptions with a client meeting. Say you're meeting with client with George, client one, and Jim, client two calls. I think it's pretty easy to say, Jim, uh, I appreciate and I'm happy you contacted me, but right now I am in the midst of another meeting with client one, with George, and would it be okay if I got back to you in two or three hours? Use the same strategy when your meeting is doing your strategic plan. The third, the fourth strategy is when you get the interruption and you're in the middle of your strategic planning, let your client know a definite time that they can expect to hear back from you. So, for example, if they call you at 9.30 in the morning and you have set aside between 9 and 11 for your strategic planning appointment, then tell them, George, I'll get back to you at 11.15 after my 9 to 11 meeting uh, is ended. So, the fourth strategy is related to it. It's just Ask the client who calls you at 9.30 and says, George, is this something that we need to handle just right this minute? You see, George, I'm in a meeting right now, and uh, if your concern or your need is some can wait for open to he, then uh, can we do that? And I say invariably most people clearly so understand that. The fifth strategy and it's important to buy the way all these is to not be as a leader to go and take your time and see big and all the things from you. Yeah, maybe you will be one of the rest of you have much more than if you do. And if you do, you nominate a designated hitter. So again, the whole thing is give the client a specific time, make sure they understand the reason why you can't immediately 
uh, 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 attend to their need and give them a, another option. I think these, these five strategies will give you a way to rest the time from your schedule to really get done some of the work that you need to do on your big rocks.